Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program with me the Hi Hobo and as you can see our trajectory, our orbit around the sun has changed a little bit and we are now bang smack out of fuel. We have nothing. So this is now a fairly lost cause. Um, it is a shame. Uh, he knew it was, uh, Jez Jezden knew it was a one-way ticket and uh, it's unfortunate but you know, is the life of the Kerbal. So we're going to leave him up here. <clears throat> but we're going to retry the flight again. And in doing so, we are going to get ourselves into the correct position, which is not that one. Which is we're going to go here and we're going to put the... Moho, 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 X, uh, the 38X load. Um... Come on then, that's it. So first of all, we're going to get into our map screen. We're going to spin all the way out so we can see everything ever. Okay, again, we're going to be going with our retrograde uh, burn. But first of all, we need to get the planets aligned. And now, if you want, when the positions are right... You can go and grab a piece of greaseproof paper from your kitchen and, oh, excuse me, and um, you can trace what I'm doing so that you have a copy, a hard copy, for the rest of your life. Right, let's just have a look at that, so I'm going to spin that back into position. Uh, we're not quite at it there. That's better. It's a bit easier to see now. Not far off. That is about the magic number. So you want Moho about there, and you oh god, uh, you want Kerbin. Uh, if that's if that's your zero mark, coming right the way round here is two hundred and fifty-one degrees. So you need to get into a retrograde orbit for that. That's what we're going to start with doing. Start by doing, even. Um, doesn't really matter if it's night or day. We're just going to go. And so again, on we go with the SAS. On we go with the throttle. I'm going to do the last of my hellos, which is Aaron Draper, Nutty Jigsaw, Bam, Sadiret, Sederet, and Drago K. Uh, 69 welcome to you guys and I know there was only four there I haven't written a fifth one down I have got them but they're in another room I don't like having my phone next to me whilst I'm recording so without further ado in five four three two one launch of course what I didn't do as well was look at the um, staging which may come back to haunt me later. We'll just have to remember the lessons learnt from our last uh, effort to get away. So we're going in with the early tilt to start beating the planet's spin early. And that's the solid rockets gone. Again, giving us our cue that these last tanks have been started. And that's them gone. So there they go with the next solid rocket stage kicking in. We do need to get this orbit sorted out here. Oh, I hadn't turned the SS back on, damn it. And solid stage is about to go, solid stage two. There that goes. Whoa, what was that? That took out one of our engines, damn it. That's an aborted launch. Quick, through everything. Through everything. There we go. So there we are. We're separated now. 
And it's Macgel. He's back. I'm sure we put him onto another planet, or do we kill him? I can't remember now. So many Kerbals. And, uh, yeah, so that's that launch. I think we'll, we'll go ahead and assume that that's a safe, soft landing. We're going to end that flight. And we're just going to crack straight back into it again. I'm not going to go to the VAB, um, because I just want to get up and go in and we'll sort the staging out in space. So apparently we weren't going fast enough, um, for us to uh, ditch the parts. We need to get a, a move on because planet's not going to be there forever and we're going to have to wait another year or two for it to come back round into the correct position. So again, there we go, throttle up. And five, four, three, two, one. Bang, off we go. It's gone with an early lean to the right, so we're going to compensate with that for an early lean to the left. Just a gentle one. 178, that's what we need to do here. We need to beat the planet and its spin. Hopefully getting up into the atmosphere would be the best way to go about this. That's the solid stage gone. And so we're down to the last tank of the first lot of um, liquid fuel. And there we go, that's that one gone. So that's into the second stage now of the solid rocket. See the, the rocket take a bit of a tip when it loses all that mass. Okay, but we are sort of falling in the right direction that we want to be going. Got to clear this atmosphere off as fast as we can so that we can start making more of an impression. I'm getting ready to drop some more mass now. And off they go. Again, starting to still got this sort of curve going on. And so we're down to the last tank of stage two of the liquid stage. Go. That's the next stage gone with the last of the solid rockets coming into play. Okay, start to pick up speed reasonably well. And we're not really near our target figure that we want to be at. Atmosphere starting to thin out though, so that's going to help. We're dropping mass and we're, we're losing the atmosphere, so both things are going to con you know, contribute to getting us up and towards Joule. <clears throat> Bosch. And that's it, that's the last of the solid rockets gone. And down to the last of the liquid, or the, the early asparagus stage liquid before we go into this middle rocket. <coughs> and the atmosphere is now coming to around about sort of 50%-ish. I think we'll start getting a bit more aggressive with our turn now. We're not far off hitting a, an orbit stage. And uh, we have beaten, start, well, we've started to beat the, the, the turn of the planet. But what we are lacking in, from that picture is we are lacking altitude. Okay, so we're in the penultimate tanks. And I guess we're in the final tanks by now as well. Yeah. Okay, well that's growing quite nicely actually at that. Atmosphere's very, very thin now, barely negligible. So we'll flip the rocket upside down. Let's get rid of this. 
Oh, shit. I didn't think it had gone. That's why I did that. Fuck it all. Oh, so again, another aborted launch. Um... Spam the space bar until we fall out of the... Because he will fall back to the planet. That's a shame. That truly is a shame. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. Travelling at 900 metres per second, about the same... Uh, oh, no, it's eight miles, uh, 800 miles per hour. You man who dropped from the edge of space there, wasn't it? Um, so here we go. Re-entering the atmosphere. A little bit further away from where we started. Don't know whether or not you'll be able to see that Milky Way from this close to a planet when it's on the bright, yeah, on the light side. There's a lot of stars, considering it's the light side, actually. But there they go. We've gone. Oh, and some shooting star sort of effects there. Wow. Anything else going to come down and hit us? And we'll just slow down for this whilst the chute opens. Otherwise, it tears clean off and we kill Mac Gel. So, uh, that was, uh, we'll chalk that one down to, oh, there we go, Let's some splash down parts of the other, the other out, the last stage rockets. Um, that one we'll chalk down to um, operator stupidity. Uh, I think that's bugged out a little bit. Oh, no, it hasn't. It's just falling very slowly. So, yeah, we'll call that one operator stupidity. Um, and completely utterly my fault. And um, we're going to go ahead and end the game there, or end the episode there rather. But um, do make sure you come back for the next episode where we will be going for another attempt to get into an orbit. And uh, like, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. My name is Nihai Hobo. And that was very gentle. Dainty like a butterfly. Uh, my name is Nihai Hobo, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.